After finally using creatine consistently, I've gotten real interesting results, good results, positive results. And this was from an experiment I did that I talked about in some of my other videos about my first 30 days on creatine taking it consistently and so on. But at the same time, I'm a routine coffee drinker. And since then, one thing that I've seen on the internet and one thing that I saw in my last video is a lot of people wondering about taking coffee and creatine in combination. Is it effective or not effective when you take both creatine and coffee at the same time? Are you negating the effects of the creatine or not? So this video, I'm gonna be elaborating on it more. So number one, let's just get this out the way. For years, there's been pre-workouts out there that have creatine included in its ingredients. And pre-workouts, mostly pre-workouts that I'm talking about, are the pre-workouts with caffeine as one of their main ingredients, which is how most pre-workouts work anyway. So the combination of caffeine and creatine is not a new concept. It's a combination that's been around for a while. But coffee and creatine, well, research does show us that caffeine and coffee can enhance your muscle performance, it can make you stronger, it can make you do more reps. And creatine can enhance your performance, make you stronger, it can make you do more reps when taken separate. However, there's been studies that show that mixing coffee and creatine is a bad combination. The coffee will cancel out the effects of the creatine. Let's dive into those reasons. Reason one, and this is something that I talked about in my last video, is if you mix creatine and extremely hot beverage, in this case coffee, and I'm talking about the coffee temperature has to be extremely hot, and you leave the creatine in that extremely hot beverage for long periods of time, the heat of the coffee can diminish and degrade the quality of the creatine just slightly. This is if the temperature is extremely hot, almost too hot for human consumption, which is never really a problem because who heats their coffee up that hot anyway? And again, the creatine has to be left in the coffee for long periods of time, which also is something that most of us don't do. But yeah, normal cups of coffee at normal temperatures, even heated up a little bit, will not be a problem. You're good to go if you drink coffee and creatine that way. And no one is going to have searing, boiling hot coffee that they leave creatine in for hours on end anyway, so it's never really an issue. But problem number two, and this came from a study in 1996. So this issue of creatine and coffee was discovered a long time ago. This 1996 study showed that when combining coffee and creatine together, the effects of the creatine were canceled out and did not enhance the performance of the athletes that they had drinking this mixture at all. And the study showed the usual facts. They found that when taking coffee alone, their performance enhanced. When taking creatine alone, their performance enhanced. But when adding coffee and creatine into the equation, there were no benefits in the performance at all. However, the results of this were inconclusive. What does that mean? It means that other studies could not replicate these same results, could not get the results where coffee and creatine canceled out the benefits that you would get from the creatine. Other studies showed the opposite results. And one of the main reasons for the lack of being able to settle on an answer is, for example, a 2017 study. They combined coffee and creatine together and found that they worked synergistically, found that they enhanced the performance of the athletes. 2017 study plus other studies in later years also found that caffeine alone, creatine alone increases muscle performance and caffeine and creatine in combination increases muscle performance even more than when creatine or coffee or taken alone. We've had studies that show that the positive effects of creatine are canceled out when combined with coffee, and studies that show that the positive effects of creatine are enhanced when taking coffee. So here's a difference, and here's what this means for you and how you can apply it to your coffee creatine combination. The 1996 study that showed that creatine benefits were negated, were canceled out, performed it with obscene amounts of creatine and coffee. They gave them 36 grams of creatine and just a ridiculous amount of coffee. That's a study that failed to show creatine's benefits. A study that succeeded in showing creatine's benefit combined with coffee gave them a lot of coffee, but only three grams of creatine this time instead of 36 grams of creatine. And that's where the answer seems to lie, is that the failure of the creatine to enhance muscle performance when combined with coffee came from when taking excess of coffee and an excess of creatine. Combining that will cancel out the effects of the creatine because both of these things we're talking about are what's called diuretics. They both dehydrate you when you consume them. Only to a small degree, but when you consume them in excess, they dehydrate you like crazy. If you drink a lot of coffee, you will be severely dehydrated if you're not keeping up with the water. If you take a lot of creatine, one of the main instructions of creatine is to increase your water intake and drink more water than you normally would throughout the day because creatine absorbing and pulling water into your muscles is part of the process of how creatine works and increases your muscle performance. So creatine draws a lot of water out of your body and into your muscles. So it will dehydrate you if you're not resupplying your body with water. And obviously the more creatine you consume, the more that would dehydrate your body because of the process that I just explained. So if you take two of those things that I mentioned that dehydrates your body and you're taking both in excessive amounts, 
the level of dehydration that put your body through will be insane. And what's the number one thing that makes creatine not work when you take it is when you are dehydrated. Water is one of the primary ways that creatine boosts the performance of your muscles. So taking too much creatine and too much coffee, which both dehydrate at the same time, will diminish the effects of the creatine because of everything that I just explained. But the studies that showed the successful benefits of creatine and coffee were taken with normal amounts of coffee and normal amounts of creatine, both of which do not dehydrate your body as severely because you're taking them in normal amounts. And since the athletes that take normal amounts of both products were not dehydrated, they were able to experience the positive effects of the creatine. And that is where it seems to show that creatine and coffee in combination work together successfully. And so it seems like the moral of this is to stay hydrated and keep up your hydration. Don't take both of them at the same time in excessive amount. And that method will work for you just fine. And if you want to dive down deeper into the best way of taking creatine and really all the mistakes that you need to avoid when taking creatine, in order to get maximum benefits from it. I have a video about that right here if you haven't already seen it. A lot of people have. If you want to check out all the mistakes to avoid when taking creatine, click the video right here, check it out, and learn about the right way to take creatine.